Welcome to episode 8 of the Card Notes by Vintage Hockey Cards Report podcast. Today we're taking a closer look at these five hockey cards. The Andre Pronovo 1962-63 Tops 19 card, the Andy Bathgate 1961-62 Tops 53 card, the Bernie Federico 1981-82 OPG 288 card, the Bobby Bond 1962-63 Parker's number 3 card, and the Bobby Orr 1971-72 OPG number 100 card. Let's get on with it. Enjoy. The Andre Pronovo 1962-63 Tops number 19 hockey card. Written on the back of the card, Bruins swapped Guy Gendron for Andre midway in 1960-61 season. Now they've got Gendron too. Pronovo is sound left winger with a deceptive backhand shot. Montreal used him as part of checking line against top forwards. A closer look. On November 27, 1960, Andre Pronovo was traded straight up from the Montreal Canadiens to the Boston Bruins for Jean-Guy Gendron. His time in Boston would be relatively short with a December 3, 1962 trade sending him to the Detroit Red Wings for Forbes Kennedy. As for Jean Draw, he finished up that 1960-61 season with the Canadians. Over the summer of 1961, he was claimed by the New York Rangers. He played the full 61-62 season with the Blue Shirts before ending up back in Boston for 1962-63. Andre Pronovo played 556 regular season and 70 playoff games in the NHL between 1956-57 and 1967-68 with the Canadians, Bruins, Red Wings, and Minnesota North Stars. His National Hockey League career was essentially over after the 1963-64 season. He played just three games with Detroit in 64-65 and appeared in eight regular season and eight playoff games with the North Stars in their expansion 1967-68 season. The Andy Bathgate 1961-62 Tops number 53 hockey card. Written on the back of the card, stylish forward is one of NHL's great scorers, needs just 36 goals to become Rangers all-time leader. Already has most points for New Yorker. Andy's shot is one of the hardest in hockey and he's equally at home at center or right wing. Voted NHL's most valuable player 1958-59. A closer look. Andy Bathgate did not get 36 goals in 1961-62 to become the all-time leader for the New York Rangers. However, after his 28 goals in 61-62, he scored 35 in 62-63 and had his place in New York's record books. Today, Bathgate still sets fourth all-time for the Rangers when it comes to goal scoring. He finished his career with the club, scoring 272. Ahead of him are Rod Gilbert and Jean Rattel, and Adam Graves. His best season came in 1958-59, his Hart Trophy winning year, when he scored 40. Andy Bathgate played 1,069 regular season and 54 Stanley Cup playoff games in the National Hockey League between 1952-53 and 1970-71. Much of his time was spent with the Rangers, but he also played for the Toronto Maple Leafs, Detroit Red Wings, and Pittsburgh Penguins. The Bernie Federico 1981-82 OPG 288 Hockey Card Written on the back of the card, the Blues' leading scorer in 1980-81, Bernie added nine power play goals, two shorthanded goals, four game-winning goals, and one game-tying goal during the year. Bernie was winner of CHL's Rookie of the Year trophy at Kansas City in 1976-77. A closer look. Bernie Federico's 104 points led the Blues in 1980-81 and placed him ninth in the race for the Art Ross trophy. Federico's 73 assists put him fourth in the NHL behind just Wayne Gretzky, Kit Nielsen, and Marcel Dion. Bernie did earn Rookie of the Year, Ken McKenzie Trophy, honors in the CHL for the 1976-77 season. Playing for the Kansas City Blues, he scored 30 goals and assisted on 39 for 69 points in just 42 games. Despite barely playing at half the team's games, he led the CHL Blues in goals and points. The year before, Federico led the WCHL with 187 points for the Saskatoon Blades, earning the Bob Brown Ridge Memorial Trophy. His 115 assists also led the league, while his 72 goals were good for second, 16 behind Don Murdoch at the Medicine Hat Tigers. Federico went on to play exactly 1,000 regular season games in the National Hockey League between 1976-77 and 1989-90 with the Blues and Detroit Red Wings. Bernie was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 2002. The Bob Bond 1962-63 Parkhurst No. 3 Hockey Card 1962-63 would be Bobby Bond's seventh season in the National Hockey League, all with the Toronto Maple Leafs until that point. 
That 1962-63 Maple Leafs team would finish first overall in the NHL regular season and capture a Stanley Cup championship with a win over the Detroit Red Wings in the final. Bob Bond played in the National Hockey League from 1956-57 until 1972-73. His career started and ended with the Maple Leafs. He went to the Oakland Seals for the 1967-68 NHL season after being claimed in the expansion draft. He played with the Seals for a season before a trade sent him to the Detroit Red Wings. Going his way was Ron Harris in exchange for Gary Jarrett, Doug Roberts, Howie Young, and Chris Worthy. Bond's 1970-71 season was interesting. He started the year in Detroit, appeared in 11 games. On November 3rd, the Wings put him on waivers and he was claimed by the Buffalo Sabres. Buffalo immediately traded him to the St. Louis Blues for Larry Keenan and Jean-Guy Talbot. Bobby didn't play a single game for the Blues and he was traded back to the Toronto Maple Leafs 10 days later in a trade for Brett Selby. The Bobby Orr 1971-72 OPG number 100 hockey card. Written on the back of the card, what to do for an encore is the yearly problem facing Bobby. First all-star choice four straight years. Only man to win four league awards in one season. Holds a record for a defenseman with 37 goals. Scored goals with, which gave Boston Stanley Cup in 1970. A superstar when he was just 20. A closer look. Bobby Orr would continue his first all-star team selection streak to eight consecutive seasons. He remains the only player to win four NHL awards in a single season. In 1969-70, Orr won the Hart Trophy, Norris Trophy, Art Ross Trophy, and Conn Smythe Trophy. Orr would tie his goal-scoring record for defenseman in 1971-72, again scoring 37 goals. He would shatter his own mark in 1974-75 with 46 goals. However, Paul Coffey of the Edmonton Oilers would top that mark with 48 goals in 1985-86. Bobby Orr still holds the record for blue liners with 102 assists and 139 points both set in 1970-71. Bobby would end his career with three Hart Trophies, eight Norris Trophies, two Conn Smythe Trophies, and two Art Ross Trophies. If it wasn't for career-ending knee injuries, there's no telling what amazing feats Orr would have accomplished. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Card Notes. Stay tuned, there'll be more coming up soon. If you could, please hit the like button, and we'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel.